Thank you for being with us on Community Connection. I'm your host, Tracy Christensen. Providing access to educational programs that promote growth and help build relationships with others is the goal of South Franklin Community Center that's located in Southwest Provo. Sandra Serna is here to tell us about the resources and learning opportunities available to those in need. Thanks for coming today, Sandra. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about the South Franklin Community Center and how it got started. Yeah, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly how it got started because it really just um, happened with a bunch of community members seeing a need in the southwest area of Provo for educational programs and then some extra help. Um, there was an increase in 911 calls in that area and um, a lot of those calls were unnecessary and they weren't emergency calls. So um, some professors from BYU and some other organization members in the community decided to get together and um, start a small community center in an apartment building actually in the Boulders community, which has now progressed into an actual building um, where we house our programs. Wow, that's great. And talk about the demographics in that area. Yeah, so we serve a lot of immigrants and then a few refugees, but we also serve um, primarily, primarily low-income individuals. Um, it is in a, located in a low-income housing neighborhood. And what are some of the programs that you provide that you feel like are really making a difference in this community? We offer a lot of programs. Um, some of my favorites are our Zumba class um, that offers some healthy activities for a lot of the mothers in the community. We offer after school tutoring. We have a summer learning program. Um, we also have art class, craft group, um, and then music lessons are a popular one as well. Wow, that is a lot. Mm -hmm. And during the summer, I know you offer some educational opportunities too. Yeah, we have a partnership with UVU um, and a grant through DWS that allows us to offer a summer learning program um, where we work on improving uh, reading skills and math skills and then we also offer enrichment and the kids go on a lot of field trips and it's a really fun um, experience for the kids during the summer. And do you have some success stories? Sure, Zumba I mentioned yeah. was one of my favorites. Um, that's my favorite because the women in the community started with a Zumba teacher and the Zumba teacher unfortunately had to quit. This was about a year ago and since then the women actually have taken over the class themselves and that's really the goal of our community center to help community, community members have ownership over the center and what programs are offered there and they take turns teaching the class um, every day. They do it Monday through Saturday actually and it's really impressive how they've taken ownership over it. That really is. And how can the community be involved in helping either volunteering or do you need donations? Yeah, um, we always love in-kind donations. Um, those come in the form of um, music books. We do offer a lot of music lessons. They can donate um, art supplies, school supplies, things like that. Um, but primarily we work with volunteers. Our, all our programs are volunteer run. So we ask people to volunteer as music teachers. We also, in the summertime, we're looking to have some more open hours after our summer learning program, um, which would cater to teenagers as well as the younger kids. So we're looking for mentors who would be able to help with that. Well, it's a great service and really making a difference in our community. So thanks for being here and telling us about it. Thank you for having me. Groups providing much needed services, such as South Franklin Community Center, can be found in many parts of Utah. To access additional organizations and to learn about the resources they provide, please log on our website at kbyu11.org. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you soon on Community Connection.